And my name is Matt St. John, the sales executive here at V Technologies for Starship with Sage 300. One of the nice things with Starship as a shipper, you're going to be able to work just inside of Starship. So technically, you don't even need access to Sage 300. You know, on my shipping machine, all I really will need to do is have Starship um, installed. And in the upper left-hand side is our source document. So with 300, uh, we can actually pull by sales order, by customer, by shipment, or even by invoice number. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I'll pull by shipment number. Uh, but just so you know, if you do pull by sales order number, Starship will automatically create the shipment record inside of 300. Uh, so this source document can be manually typed in. I can have a barcoded uh, source doc on my, say, my pick sheet and even just use a regular wedge time scanner to scan in that barcoded information or even have this lookup. Uh, from this lookup, as you can see, we can get into applying filters, sort by any of these columns can even get into batch processing where I can select as many orders that I, as I need, and I can actually click a button and Starship's just gonna start generating all the shipping documents, processing those orders um, that you've selected. So here I'll just manually grab this one order. And what Starship's gonna do is pull in all the order header line item detail, from this case, the shipment record. Again, if it was a sales order record, pull all the same information based off what's on the sales order. Uh, so carrier service, billing, account, all that information is going to be mapped in. Uh, we're just translating this from the ship via. So anyone doing third party or collect shipments, we can also help automate those, pro those shipments as well, where as a shipper, I don't have to manually collect select a third party or type in the customer's account number. Okay, name of the game with Starship is streamline that whole shipment process. And that's the same with any of the shipment options, you know, here with the quantum view, um, have this set up so it's automatically pulling in the customer's account and going to send out a quantum view email. The sender, that's the company we are pulling the order from inside of 300. And Starship Out of the Box supports multiple companies, locations, and or warehouses. And then of course, the recipient is coming from the ship too. Uh, so this one of course um, is going to Canada. So for this coming out of the States, it would be an international shipment, which we fully support. Uh, we also do support outbound shipments, you know, if you're located in Canada. Uh, Starship will do address validation. We validate ZIP plus four, and we also will validate the commercial residential flag. So we're gonna help save on those correction fees. Um, now down below is really that packaging detail. So again, this has come in. Now if I define, define this inside 300 on the shipment, that's how it would come in. Uh, but here what's going on is with Starship, you can have packaging scenarios. So in this case, Starship knows, hey, this desk lamp, every time it gets shipped, it goes in a lamp box. So it's automatically packaged it for me as a shipper. Remaining item, I have my system set up just to come into a default box, uh, but maybe in this case, I know that fits in the lamp box, so I can simply drag and drop. And then over here, if I needed to remove a box, which I can also have this set up that once I ship this, it automatically would remove the empty box. I can simply click this icon. Uh, if I needed to add packages, I can use the single package icon here, or also our repeat box function. If this was a large order, I could add as many boxes and you know, tell Starship, hey, you need 10 boxes, click OK, and then I'd have the 10 boxes. Uh, the lamp box, that's simply part of Starship's database where you can store your packaging, and that can be bags, bales, boxes, pallets, what have you. But the nice thing with using custom boxing or packaging is as you see, once they're set up, the dimensions will automatically populate, all right? Weights, this can come from a scale. I can manually type that in. This case, I'm just grabbing the weights from inside of 300, uh, but that's the actual. And Starship will also take into consideration the dimensional weight. So nowadays, dim weight's a big deal with UPS FedEx. Uh, so we will actually build this at the correct dimensional weight. Uh, so we're gonna help save on those fees as well. Uh, back in the item detail, I'll just expand the items in this box. Uh, again, Starship is going to pull in item description, value, weight, and my system. I'm getting all that from 300, but Starship also has a database for your own inventory items. Uh, so, and it will automatically start storing them if you want. And we do this because, you know, there's usually not a spot for, say, like the N NMFC code. Um, again, international shipments. We have our own lookup where you can store country and manufacturer. You know, the schedule be your harmonized code. I can look that up right at time of shipment and any of this information, once I add it, click OK, Starship would automatically save it for next time. Uh, now, actually to do the live rating, so Starship has integrations with over two dozen uh, carriers, and that is both you know, parcel as well as LTL, third-party uh, 3PL services. And here, when I rate shop with Starship, with a carrier integration, as you can see here, UPS, FedEx, uh, we are going to send them your 
contract information, they are going to return your live negotiated rate. So there's no staging tables. This is a live rate be, being returned from the carrier. And as you can see, there's my live contract rate. I can see published list rates if I wanted, estimated delivery. I can go by total or estimated uh, business days, so on and so forth. Uh, this whole rating process can also be automated. You can set up what we call ship via rules and tell Starship, hey, you know what? You ought to always, every shipment, rate my um, shipment automatically and always maybe select the least expensive carrier service or least expensive and maybe least amount of delivery days. So again, that whole process can be automated. Um, charges tab, just a breakdown of the charges. You don't have to click this to process an order, uh, but here I just show it because with Starship, you can also set up freight rules. So if you're ever doing like say a promo code or certain customers receive discounts or maybe free shipping over X amount of dollars, uh, freight rules most certainly can handle that. So here I just have one that's it's a percentage. So they can be percentages, flat rates, min maxes. Um, this one I'm just basing off the customer number, uh, but I can go all the way down to line item detail. So maybe if I have a fragile item, I can say, you know what, anytime this item's on an order, you know, add an additional $5 because uh, we have to use additional bubble wrap or packaging material. Okay. Uh, then when I am ready to actually process a shipment, I can click the shipping, oops, that's the save button. Let me just bring this back in. See what I can get for going so fast. Let me just uh, bring this order back in. Uh, so as you can see, you can actually save a shipment if you wanted to stage it, maybe start it and then save it. And with saving it, um, you know, you're know you not gonna receive any of the shipment documents, but when you actually ship and process, that is when Starship One is gonna make the connection out to the carrier, tell them, hey, they're actually shipping something. So they have something ready to be picked up and then also return tracking numbers, um, LTL shipments, you know, return pro numbers, um, bill of ladings, we can generate those forms. Most of the carriers support theirs that you can automatically email out. Uh, but here is the shipping label and packing list. So this is our smart label. So I'm using this for the sake of the demo and also previewing all my documents for the sake of the demo. Most certainly these can just go right to your printers. The shipping label can go to a thermal printer. Our packing list, if you wanna use that, that can also go to a thermal printer or of course you can send it to a laser printer and print it to paper. So because this is international, I can also generate shipping document or the international documents like commercial invoice, order header, lighting detail information, automatically gonna populate. And then our documents can be customized. So this one's signed and dated, uh, NAFTA form, have our company logo on there. Uh, but with each of the custom documents, you can create unlimited templates and then also get into assigning printing rules. So again, maybe customer ABC needs the packing list to look a little different. Uh, you can create a template for that customer and have it only print when the order is for customer ABC. All right, so really now I bring that in, I ship and process, I receive my shipping labels, and as a shipper now, I'm just gonna go move on to my next shipment, staying inside of Starship. And real quick, I'll jump into 300. We'll go into the shipment record and I'll quickly show you the right back. So here's the, the shipment we just processed. Um, tracking information is gonna be on the tracking fields here. We write back the charge as a miscellaneous, as you can see there. Uh, customer tab, we can write back tracking numbers there as well. Uh, total is then, there's that freight charge. And then up here, the comment, we can put in notes. These are really up to you what you wanna send back. You know, you can tell Starship what you wanna send back. And I'm just sending back a bunch of, uh, you know, the ship date, the carrier, the tracking number, of course, the number of packages. Okay, so that's the write back. And again, real quick, two other programs that are included with Starship is our eNotify program. So with eNotify, uh, this will allow you to create your own custom email templates that you can send out to your customers. So I had this one using Quantum View, but if I wanted to, I can design my own and send the customer all the order information. As you can see, hyperlink tracking number. And then this is our dashboard program, very simple reporting tool that most of our clients, everyone in the front office has dashboard installed. And from here, you know, they can track, that way they don't have to call the warehouse to find out if something's been shipped. And I can drill down and see all the shipment information for this order. And of course, canned reports from late delivery reports that are gonna tell you any shipment that wasn't delivered on time. So you can contact to get uh, the carrier, try to get a refund. And uh, applied versus contract report, I always mention this one, a lot of clients run this, because this will show you all your shipments, compare the applied, so that's what you charge the customer for the shipment, compare it to your actual contract rate, so what the carrier is gonna charge you, and then the third column would be the plus or minus. 
Uh, so again, really quick 30,000 foot overview of processing a shipment through Starship. Uh, if you do have any other questions or like to schedule a demo, please feel free to reach out. And